military. I am a Highland Park firefighter, first female firefighter, interior firefighter there. I am a mom, I am a wife, I have coached my daughter's soccer team, I do the MMA, I train, I weight lift, and I run wherever I can fit in, one to two hours a day, I go and I work out, or I'll do it at home, whatever I can do to get that training in. I take on a lot of different things, I challenge myself a lot. Uh, one for myself, like I said, you only have one life, and I don't want to regret anything. She's a very strong, uh, independent female, uh, E6 right now. As far as uh, military style, she's very structured, um, very black and white. Um, she's willing to bend over backwards to work with you and to do anything for her soldiers or help anybody. Chris is real tough. Uh, aside from being, she's born physically something going on with her that she's too strong for how she looks. Uh, I don't know, I know. Even back then, she had about a 205-pound bench press. Uh, she was squatting like 300-something pounds. She ran a high-altitude marathon in Bagram in something like three, three hours and 45 minutes, which is just minutes after qualifying for Boston. And she had never run anything over, I think, eight miles before. Didn't even train for it. Just didn't know she wasn't supposed to run that fast. So there's a little bit of, I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of something, something special going on there. At Highland Park Fire Department in Highland Park, Michigan, I am the first female interior firefighter there to make it there. If you're gonna be in this service, you gotta be able to help each other out. You can't just be in it to look pretty. You gotta save them and help them just like you want them to help and save you. I really love what I do here. I really do. Going in the fires, honestly, a lot of it is the adrenaline. Going, getting to the fires, getting your gear on, hearing that bell go off, and getting out there and just doing the job, getting in the guts of it with all the other guys. The camaraderie is a big thing too, getting the teamwork. I think that's a big thing too with the police, military police, and then having the fire service is a camaraderie, and the way everybody just builds and the cohesiveness between everybody is what drives me as well. I, I think it's excellent. Because um, she's living out a lot of dreams that a lot of people want to do. Being in the military, and a firefighter and uh, MMA fighter, that's people, some people's dreams. Chris definitely puts people around her before herself, you know? That's not just including uh, myself, our kid, the family. She puts a soldier first, she puts missions first, she puts jobs first. I mean, she, she bites off a lot and she's able to accomplish quite a bit when she does. So I want to be one of those kind of people that inspire and help people get through maybe a difficult situation. Maybe somebody has a disability or maybe a female is like, you know, maybe I'm not cut out for this. But show them maybe you are. You just got to work a little bit harder and know what you want to do. Be, I don't know, be the best that you can. <laughs>